Target locked. We've had a lot of reports regarding Fortnite issues when using an AMD CPU and GPU. Today we're going to be looking into this and continuing with our stability testings in Fortnite. For this test we'll be using the Ryzen 5600X and pairing this with a very powerful RX 6800 XT to remove any form of GPU bottleneck. And like our previous days, we are going to be testing this in all three modes, TX11, TX12, and Performance mode. Our focus here is to get consistent frame rates and frame times. We'll be using low settings at 1080p and FPS will be capped at 240. And we also have run this game two times before capturing the footage to ensure that this is the best case scenario. As always, I'll break down and discuss about the performance of each segment at the later part of the video. And if you like what we do here in Overseer PC, please support our totally independent systems by hitting that like button and subscribing. Anyway, let's get on with the videos. Let's go. Hello again, dumbbell! Target locked. X11 at first glance looks stable, it is consistent on static non-action scenes but the moment you move around and view landscape you will feel the sluggishness of this mode. FPS drops on occasions and becomes even more unstable on heavy action scenes. Frame times likewise are very inconsistent, overall this is a terrible experience, erratic frame times will be crucial on those clutch moments. Moving over to DX12, this is definitely a better experience. Apart from the start of the match, the experience is pretty consistent. We still have those random frame time spikes, but are really rare. And frame times overall are very stable. I mean, just look at the number here. How long did it stay at 4.1 milliseconds throughout? There were times when the FPS wasn't even 240, but the frame times remained stable. This is a very good experience. Performance mode is another one that is very inconsistent. Just look at the FPS and the frame times here. FPS dropped to around 180 with micro stutters on frame times. Sometimes it becomes stable, the next minute it becomes erratic again, and like. What's this lucky pick most of the time? FPS has terrible dips and pretty inconsistent. 
Overall, with this AMD CPU and GPU combo, you don't really have a choice. It's the X12. That's it. From all the testings we've done, this combo is the only option. There is nothing else. If you're still having issues with the DX12, don't hesitate to report this bug to AMD. This is definitely a game engine issue. I don't know why Epic Games make the normal DX11 experience really bad for this setup. But if you want your voice to be heard, click on that bug icon from your Radeon driver and report this miss. Let's get AMD to push Epic Games on fixing this game. Now, while we are on the topic of stability, I want you guys to look at this video right here. Constant 240 FPS is not always constant and stable, and this is what I've been trying to explain. 